Today, I'm going to give you five psychological hacks to make more Robux. If you don't use these, you're basically leaving free money on the table every single day. Let's dive in. And I promise, by the end of this video, you'll see Roblox and earning Robux in a whole new way. The mind is a powerful machine. It is the fundamental driver of every purchase decision made on planet Earth. And knowledge of psychology generates billions of dollars for the top companies like McDonald's, Tesla, and even Roblox itself. Effective use of psychology in marketing and sales separates the rich from the poor. Yet most Roblox developers blatantly ignore it in the process of taking commissions, making game passes and developer products, selling UGC, and in capitalizing on almost every other method people use to make Robux and money on the platform. This is a foolish mistake, and without you realizing it, it is losing you up to millions of Robux in earnings every day you don't know them. Today, I'm going to teach you how to fix this and properly leverage five psychological hacks you can implement today to start earning more Robux than you ever have in your entire life. These have helped me to generate millions of Robux and earned thousands of dollars from my Roblox creations. Because what I'm about to tell you won't just change your Roblox career, it will change your entire life if you use it right. Number one, authority. An undeniable fact, the mind is wired to follow authority figures. People automatically look to those in positions of authority for guidance. And at a fundamental level, the truth of reality itself. That's just human nature. But there's also an element of nurture at play here. We are also trained from a very young age to look up to and trust parents, teachers, law enforcement, government officials, and other people who are seen as authority figures in society. But if you can use knowledge of the human mind to position yourself as an authority figure in your buyer's eyes, you will unlock the ability to generate mass amounts of Robux because your buyer's brains are wired to see you as high status and view everything you say as the truth. Look, we believe what authority figures say. Our favorite YouTuber telling us to buy the merch he's selling is many orders of magnitude more convincing than some random guy walking down the street with a cardboard sign yelling at you to buy a t-shirt. The YouTuber has authority. The random guy doesn't. And right now, you're seen as that random guy waving a cardboard sign on the street, begging people to play your game, buy your game passes, or purchase your UGC. But let's change that. To demonstrate authority, first present yourself confidently. This is the first and most simple step, but it's also the most important one as it influences how people perceive you in every way. If you aren't confident, you won't be able to demonstrate your authority that well. Second, demonstrate your accomplishments and accolades. These are authority indicators. Got 10 million visits on a game you made? Broadcast it everywhere. That isn't just a visit count. It's a tool you can use to increase people's perception of your status and make them trust every word you say. For example, Jimmy from our group, Jimmy Games, doesn't just sit there as the group owner. No, he commands respect by establishing his authority endlessly. It's just his personality. But you can see the endless loyalty it creates on the group the consistent player counts, Robux earnings we've had for years, and the detailed role structure we have that contain active moderators and other members are all examples of this. Jimmy's always speaking confidently. He's always talking about his successes. He's always leading the community. This isn't just a Roblox group. This is a movement, and we've developed true loyalty. Third, be professional when it's needed. For example, if you take commissions, when you're on X speaking about your work, talk professionally. That means don't be a goofball when speaking about important matters. Write with good grammar and spelling and be calm and direct in your dealings. You don't have to be a calm, stoic rock all the time and you can have some fun, but be more professional than not. 
when you're talking business. This establishes a perception of authority that sticks. Fourth, learn to be direct and assertive. State what you want with full conviction and clarity and always call out disrespect. Somebody who isn't afraid to speak their mind when it's important is always going to be more respected and more trusted as an authority. You have to be okay with the backlash and stay calm and grounded against opposition. This demonstrates strength and increases people's perception of your authority even more. It's brand management 101, but this is going on all the time, whether you're on Roblox or in real life. Second, social proof. Now that you know how to position yourself as an authority, let's talk about something that will amplify it even more. Social proof is proof that other people care about and support you or what you're promoting. Showing that other people agree with you, demonstrating that people support you, or showing how people have bought from you in the past and had a good experience are all ways to demonstrate social proof. When you have social proof, people believe you more. For example, if I told you that my videos are the best on the entire planet, you probably wouldn't believe me or care nearly as much as seeing someone in the comments saying, Smarty RBX's videos are the best on the entire planet, which I do get a lot of these types of comments on the channel because the content is just that valuable. Look, it means a lot to the human mind when someone else backs you up or what you're promoting. If you're at a social gathering or an event and you see someone with a lot of friends walking around, you assume they're a cool person. But if you see someone sitting alone, bored, it's easy to assume they're just a boring loser or there's something wrong with them. Now that might not actually be true, but it's just how the human mind works. Like we said in the authority section, if they don't see you as high status, they won't buy into it. It's the same with social proof. Social proof is key to persuasion and social skills as a whole. So here's how to implement social proof in everything you do on Roblox. If you're making a game, you could even put reviews up and quote what players have said. I love the jetpack. It helps me get around the map faster. Or show a count of how many people have bought the game pass right next to it. This will increase the amount of sales you get on whatever it is that you're selling. Because when others support something, people trust it. If you're taking commissions, get testimonials from people and post them in your portfolio and on X. Quote them frequently to demonstrate social proof and the fact that other people love your work. All right, if this is helping, drop a like. I'll keep giving you real game. All right, third, scarcity and urgency. Scarcity and urgency tap directly into fear of missing out. And that fear is a conversion weapon. Your brain evolved to prioritize survival. So when something is limited or ending soon, it triggers a survival instinct. If I don't act now, I'll miss out and I might never get another chance. You can use this power to make people act fast. Here's how. Limited time offers. Add countdowns to developer products. Double coins boost only available for 48 hours. Limited supply. Only 100 people can own this item. Once it's gone, it's gone. Commission scarcity. I'm only taking two commissions this week. Get yours before the spots fill up. Price urgency. Price goes up tomorrow. These work because they remove people's hesitation. Scarcity forces decision making. It breaks people out of passivity and makes them take action. Roblox does this all the time. Countdown timers, event windows, limited UGC drops, all to activate that psychological tension. And you can do the same. Fourth, framing. I've used framing in this video to entice you to watch and engage. And I wonder if you'll be able to catch all of them once you hear how it works. By presenting these points, not as something boring and stale that you've heard a million times, like tips, but as psychological hacks, I pushed your mind to want to click and to watch this video all the way through to the end out of that pure curiosity and desire to get insider knowledge that other people don't even know exists. If you're savvy, 
you likely also noticed that this is a great use of scarcity and urgency as well. Now, if you don't want to be a boring new you need to frame things properly. Remember this, the frame you choose determines the emotion they will feel. If you frame something in a boring way, guess how people are gonna feel? You guessed it, bored. And they might not even feel anything at all. To all the YouTubers, commission takers, UGC creators, and just about everyone who isn't succeeding on Roblox right now, you're just too boring. But frame things right and bam, you start getting attention. Let's look at a quick example. This video here has three views. It's titled, Playing Brookhaven with my friend. This other video has 3,000 views. It's titled, Brookhaven sucked until we tried this. Do you see the difference? The former is framed in a very boring way. Hate to break it to you, but nobody cares that you played Brookhaven with your friend. But the latter? Now that's something people are into. Brookhaven sucked until we did this. There's also an open loop created here, which is basically a cliffhanger. And they're wondering, what did you do? Well, you have to click to find out. This creates an uncomfortable tension that forces you to click and get the answer. All right, five, this one's important. Drill this into your mind now. You're not selling the game pass. You're not selling a UGC item. You're not selling a commission. You're selling a transformation. Results are more important than the product itself. A Game Pass equals freedom, speed, access, dominance. A UGC brings identity, style, popularity, flex. A commission, power, leverage, status. No one cares that you're selling a lava gun. They care that the lava gun lets them wreck everyone else in the game and look cool doing it. Focus your messaging around what they get, not what you're offering. Want them to buy more? Say this, stand out in every lobby, dominate the competition, look better than 99% of players, unlock pro tools to boost your power. That's results-based selling, and it always wins. All right, you've learned a lot, and I'm sure that your mind's blown, and I promised you five psychological hacks, but guess what? I'm gonna give you two bonus ones right now. You ready? These will change the game for you, so pay attention. First, reciprocity. Reciprocity is the tendency people have to give back. When you give people value, they naturally feel the obligation to reciprocate. So you can use this principle to earn more Robux by giving people free value. Give free value by posting content for free. If you take commissions on X, you can give free samples, give advice on your skill, and speak with other people in the community. This will entice people to reciprocate by actually coming to you and buying a commission. Next bonus, repetition. Repetition is how humans learn, period. It's also how you build belief. You don't believe something because you heard it once. You believe it because you heard it 50 times in different ways from different angles until your subconscious accepted it as truth. Want to sell more? Make people believe more. Want people to take action? Embed the message. Here's how to use repetition. Repeat your offer multiple times in your game or sales funnel. Use different framings of the same message. Limited time, last chance. Don't miss this. In your content, bring up key ideas again and again until they're burned deep into the viewer's mind. Remember, repetition is what makes a psychological hack go from interesting to automatic. If you want your message to stick, repeat it until they could repeat it back to you. All right, these psychological hacks aren't just tactics. They're exactly what separates average devs from high income creators. And look, most people will watch this and forget everything. You're here at the end, you think you'll remember this? but the odds are you probably won't, unless you actually use this. Not just watch and listen to what I've just told you, not just nod your head, but apply it. Your earnings, your influence, and your future on Roblox will never be the same. Be the one who studies the game beneath the game. Not just how to build, not just how to code, that stuff is basic at the end of the day, but how to influence, sell, and lead. You've got the tools now, use them. If you wanna learn more about how to crack the code on psychology for your games, click the video on screen now to get a full guide on how I study player psychology to make my games addictive, ridiculously fun, and extremely lucrative. See you there.